Greetings fellow rangers, Blaze Ranger here and welcome to episode 5 of our Wither World series. There must be a ghast or two outside. Where we are attempting to take down the Wither in the overworld. Not in the depths of the overworld, but right on the surface, right out in the open, in broad day. I wonder if, I wonder if sunlight affects the Wither. Like it does zombies and skeletons and stuff. I've never actually seen it one way or the other. But anyways, we're down here in the nether. We have just gotten our nether wart. Hey, I should... Uh, I don't need to plant any, do I? How much did we get? We got two... Ah, uh, we got tons of the stuff. I would really like to get a blaze rod, because then we can make an ender... Po nether... Nether chest. Is that what it's called? Yeah, nether chest. So we're going to leave all this stuff behind. We are going to go exploring. Maybe we'll even run into a wither or two. I don't know. We actually are picking up right where we left off. At some point, I'm going to clear all this out. And this will be where we will um, get the withers to spawn and off with their heads. Yeah, I got enough. Okay, so I'm going to look around, see if I can find a couple blazes. Maybe get some rods or even a spawner and go from there. So rather than boring you with all the details, if I find anything that's excruciating. No, we went. Oh, look at that. What do you know? There are, there's a wither and blazes. And we were just up there. Hey, bud. Hey, don't be shooting down here. Don't. Now is there more? Whoop! That would be a yes. Oh. Hmm. Oh well, at least we know those guys are spawning around here. Okay, I'm going to carry on and I will meet up with you when I've got something interesting to show you. So, oh yeah, torches. Yeah, we've got Oh, I should put... No, nah, I'm not going to die. Famous last words, eh? Okay, I will meet up with you when I've got something interesting to show you. Ooh, it's great outdoors. Come on, buddy. Whoops. There we go. Oop, that's kind of what I thought. <laughs> okay, we got to do something about that. Whoops. Okay, well, we know where there's a blaze spawner. And they're handing out free blaze rods. Okay. okay, we'll come back there at some point. Ooh, there's another one right there. Whoa. And the hunt goes on. There's a guy standing right around the corner here. He doesn't see us. Not sure why, but... Come on, be the first. Oh, yeah, don't hit him with shovel. I wonder if I have to go back and get a looting sword. Okay, here's what we've got from our little outing. Gold chest plate, five nuggets, five blaze rods, two saddles, uh, obsidian. Oh, we can make the chest now. Bones. We're going to have to make another chest. A couple saddles, a bit of iron, some chests. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to get on that and do another chest. Oh, we've got a bunch. And then we're going to start, so we've got our 
uh, nether wart. We've got our blaze rods. So now we just have to get our wither skulls. So let me get a little bit prepared. Well, here's just a quick little update. Our base is just around this corner to the right. And this is the area we are clearing out. We're blocking up some of the hallways. We're going to take down these stairs. We've blocked it off up there. And then we will raise the roof by a couple blocks to give room for the wither skeletons. And there you'll have it. This will get rid of all the torches. And this will be our spawning area. So back to it. Well, we've got our first volunteer. Let's see if he's willing to part with anything interesting. No. What day are we on? We are on day 74. I have a feeling it's going to be a long wait. Oh well. So rather than make you sit and watch all the all the time I spent waiting for the withers skeletons to to spawn, I thought I would just show you the highlights of each one. And we didn't kill all of the wither skeletons in our little spawning area here. We actually did a little bit of traveling around the fortress. We go back and forth, uh, whack whack a couple. Um, blazes once in a while but we did spend most of our time here we'd come out check how the how they were spawning out here then we'd go back sort our inventory we actually spent a total of about two hours in here which is about six minecraft days and we killed a lot of wither skeletons um, the drop rate is about two and a half percent, which means in order to get three skulls, on average, we would have to kill 120 wither skeletons. Because for every, what is it, for every 40 you kill, you get a skull. And we ended up killing, over the whole time we were here, those two hours, we ended up killing 62 withers. So we got almost double the rate of what you're supposed to get. And we didn't even have a looting sword or anything. So I will say we did really good and I am so happy because it seemed like I was here forever. But, well, that's just, the way it went. that's just the way it went. So I'll let you sit and watch and we'll be out of here in no time. There's number one right there. Skull number one. And we are, how many days in? Just a second. We are 78. I have no idea what day we got here. Feels like I've been here forever. Feels like I've already killed a zillion withers, wither skeletons. A special place just for that guy. A lot of skeletons down here. And this is what I've got from trading with the natives. Look at that. Five crying obsidian. 33 spectral arrows. A whole bunch of splash potions and just potions of fire resistance. 17 string. We're going to have to make a new sword right away.
Okay, I didn't see who dropped this third wither skull. But it's the last one we need. So I am going to... Oh, man, those ghasts are irritating. So I am going to pack everything... Well, not everything. I'm just going to pack up what I can take. What I can fit in here and here. And we are heading home. So let me get all this done and I'll meet you on the road. Okay, we are about to head out of here. It is day 80. Not too shabby. Not shabby at all. We've been here, what, 10 days? I'm going to leave all this behind. I don't really see a need for it. I'll take one chest. Ah, no, I don't think so. I'm going to leave all these blocks. We can get these. We can make these. Uh, I don't need one blaze powder. I've got a saddle and a warp fungus on a stick. I can do without one water bottle. All this stuff, I know we don't need that, but why not? Uh, we got our three wither skulls, 19 blaze rods. That's pretty darn good. And I'll bet there'll be a nice welcoming committee for us when we get out there too. Okay, so we are heading out. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, nice. Okay, so we just go up these stairs. And around the corner. Down here. I've got my food. And out here. And we are at... I think this is about the furthest we can go in the in this nether fortress and we are at uh, 400 by 156 so we have to go that way 400 and about 156 that way so hopefully we'll be home in no time I will meet I will meet you when we get out of here or when we get home I'm not really oops Oh, is this the way it's going to be? Whoa! I guess so. We're going to have to fight our way home. Okay, I'll meet you at home. What? I didn't do it. Oh, and we just had some of that in the chest, too. Oh, well, if need be, we can drop it. Now what did I pick up? Oh, and I traded our boots. I put our soul speed boots on. I can't even remember where we got them. I think a, one of these guys gave them to us. I wouldn't mind trading a little bit more, but they really don't have anything I need. Okay, I'll meet you at home. Oh, this is not going to be fun. You know, if we had the time, we just might go check out that bastion. We just came from over there. We are on our way home. We're making really good time. What, what are we on here? Day 81. 300 more blocks to go in that direction. I think we're going to get there pretty darn quick. Tempting, isn't it? Oh well, onward and upward. Boy, these shoes are really fast. And I've been getting lots of this stuff on the way. Well, that looks somewhat familiar. Whoa, so does that, sadly.
What a mess over here. Good lord, what's been going on? Somehow I think that happened before we left. Ooh. Is there any little guys around? Yeah, there's some around. Okay. Wow, what a trip. Okay, I will meet you back on the surface. Oh, boy. Do you ever have one of those days when things just don't go right? I'm sure somebody out there will know what I did. Check my inventory. What don't I have? I don't have a blaze rod. Or an ender pearl to make an ender chest. Because we left the ender chest there because we didn't have a silk touch pickaxe. I have to go all the way back. What day is it today? 82. It is... Halfway through day 82. I think I can make it back in one day. It was a pretty straight line. Uh, those pigments shouldn't be mad at me anymore. Oops. Okay, I'm going to go get it and I will be right back. You watch this. Well, that didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. However, no sooner had I gotten into the nether than I realized... I had forgotten to put on gold armor, so I had to go back. So I guess we can take all this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Don't really need this stuff. Okay, we can make an ender chest at home. Let's just throw... Oh, we can make an ender pearl with that. Let's throw that in there. Make an eye of ender for a chest, and away we go. Meet you back at the at the bay. Oh, come on, guys! My sword's almost gone. Really? Wouldn't it be funny if he dropped one? I'm on a bit of a time crunch here, guys. Thanks. I don't need it. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Meet you back at home. Well, good afternoon, Rangers. It's just past lunchtime. I thought I'd record this outside seems we've spent so much time in the nether it's nice to see the sunlight again oh i've been busy what have i been doing did a little fishing just to kind of clear my mind emptied my pack uh, oh i gotta get rid of those don't need those in the overworld but boy do you ever I, I don't know how fast these go up to soul speed three but boy you can be really quick with those but anyways Here's my plan for what's coming up. We have everything we need right now. Well, I've got to brew some potions. But we have... Yes, we do have the brewing stand all set up inside. Here, I'll show you while I'm chatting away. Um, let's see. We've got all of our stuff here. We went and uh, built ourselves a new nether chest. Uh, what else? Got some stuff here. We did, like I say, we fixed up some of our weapons that were almost done. This one I've enchanted a few more things. And look at what a what an amazing sword. Um, I did go back to the nether and I did retrace my steps because I totally forgot about, and we don't need that ancient debris, but I went to get a whole bunch of netherrack. And let's go up here. Because I have a plan. I Before I face the wither, and I don't need to, but before I face the wither, I would like to get a totem of undying, and I have a plan for that. Wow, it's a big bee. Remember back over there, there's one of those raider outposts? Well, 
I've been thinking, I am going to take my horse and I am going to travel. We went that way last time. Did I go that way? Have I gone? We went that way a little bit. I don't think we've gone past that village over there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a small village. And what I'm going to do is build a fence around it. And I might make it out of netherrack because I grabbed tons of it. And I even went down and mined a little bit. And I have a bunch of stacks of magma blocks. Is that what they're called? Anyways, the plan is to find a small village so that it's easy to protect. I don't have to spend days and days building a wall around it. And then I'm going to go take on this um, raider outpost. And we're going to get the... What is it called? Uh, the bad omen so that whatever village we go into is going to have a raid called on and then after a few raids an evoker will show up and then when we kill him we will get the totem and totem of undying like i say i don't need it i just want one i don't know i'm you know i build these i, I know they're not by any stretch of the imagination magnificent buildings I don't know I want to build something where I'm going to be here a little while longer I mean we're only in episode five five something like that I've touched it up a little put some glass in I mean and I've been watching a guy build and I want to build some of the stuff he's done so that is our plan I'm going to take the horse go grab our armor that we got oops close those doors I've been here brewing I've got one up there too uh, take the armor. Mm, I don't need anything else. I've got that. Infinity, so I only need a couple arrows. I have lots of room. It's too bad you can't get shulker chests without having to kill. Oh, we got to go in there. Without having to. Oh, we got to need a bed. Oh, we can find a bed in a village. I need one of these leads, boys. Okay, thanks. I'm going to take them both, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, guess i got to get on you first. Okay, let's see. Let's put a saddle on. You know, if I find a donkey, I might actually change. What time is it? Oh, sun's going down. Okay, we're going to head north, see what we can see. Oh, cut that out. Got any eggs? Thanks. Don't need eggs. Yeah, we'll see what we can see and... What am I looking for? Oh, a small village, right. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know when I find one. Uh, might be this episode, might be the next one. I don't know. I know we're really close to the end of this episode, but we'll see how it goes. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Oh, I guess it's not the yonder, or the wild blue. Well, that one's not small. Well, this is a dilemma. We're straight north by, what are our coordinates? We are uh, 95 and 1,200. So we've gone 1,200 blocks. Oh, we're at day 95. There's this, this one's pretty small. It's too bad these are so far away. But there's a villa, or a raider outpost right there. And right there, right between... Oh, I can't go between... Right below that plus sign in the sky, that is a ruined portal. Get your head down. And there's a bigger village over there. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse to be close to a raider outpost. Hmm... <sighs> Oh, and there's a village over there, too. Top right corner. And there was one over... Yeah, there's one through there, but it looks like a bigger one. I don't really want to be close to one of those, but... I don't know. I'm going to keep looking. I've only been to one... This is only my second village so far. What are we going to do? Put down a couple blocks... Oh, I've been finding some nice colored flowers that we can take back home for our bees. Get your head out of the way. Just thought I'd put a little marker here. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to keep looking.
Okay, last one, I promise. There is, we were just at that village, there is a ruined portal there, a ruined portal right there, village raider outpost, and a huge village here. I'm not having much luck finding my small, small village. And it doesn't have to be small, it just needs to be compact. And watch, I probably could have picked something closer to home that would have worked very easily. Wow, this is a nice village. You guys really got to mow your lawns, though. Where are we now? We're at oh, minus 1,300 by 1,200, roughly. I'm going to start heading back that way. Our house is that way. We came north, then we came east, then I guess we'll head south. What is that right there? Oh, it must be something over at the Raider Village. This would be a... Oh, there's another village over there. This would be a wonderful world if all you wanted to do was explore villages. Oh, and right there, right underneath, is another ruined portal. Well, we didn't even go to that one. We'll go to this one, then we're going to head south. North, whatever direction it is. North, I guess. Oh, there's a village over there. So much to see.